Now I want to talk to you about a little function under the menu heading in Encore 5 called Create Chapter Index, which is a great way of creating multiple menus. Here we have a section from one of our tutorial DVDs and there's lots of chapters. We're looking at a two hour timeline with about 31 chapters. Look at the Timelines tab, select the timeline and you can see there's an awful lot of chapters. Some of them have been named, some of them haven't been named. I now need to make a lot of menus to link up to those chapters. Now I could drag in a menu and then do it one at a time, but there's a nicer way of doing it. And that's by using this Create Chapter Index. So first of all, I'm going to bring in a menu that I created earlier. Well, you can see it's got several chapters on it. It's got a Next, a Main and a Previous button and some other stuff in the background. I am then going to select all of these buttons and having selected all these buttons I want to come into the Properties window and tick Set Name from Link. Now they're not linked up to anything yet but what I want to do is when they do get linked up I want them to be named whatever are the names of all these chapters. Next, I've got to take the very first button and link it to the timeline. So that has now linked the first button to the first chapter on this timeline. Then come up to Menu, Create Chapter Index, Go. And there you can see what it's done. Is it's gone through and it's created four menus. It's linked up all the chapters. It's renamed the ones that have actually got names. Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Chapter 4 and so on. It's renamed them all to match the names on the timeline and it's linked all the menus up. If I just do a quick preview of this menu, you can see here I've got various buttons. Then over here I've got a Next button and a Main button. So I click on Next, it takes me to the next menu, Next menu, back to the previous menu, and then to a Main menu if I've got one. And all of this was created and named by Encore. All I had to do was have a menu template to start off with and then by going menu, create chapter index, it created enough menus to deal with all the chapters on that timeline, which is great, especially for something like this with so many chapters. So what do you have to make sure you do about the main menu, the sort of template of menu that you've got? Well, first of all, you need a bunch of buttons. I've got 10 buttons on here. It doesn't actually matter what they're called because I'm going to tick that and they're all going to be renamed when they get linked up to the timeline. I then need to have a next and a previous and a main button on the menu. So I've added these buttons in, now I've obviously typed in the words next, previous and main, but also I've selected the button, come over to the properties tab and said that is a next button. Click on that, that's a previous button. Click on that, that's a main button. That tells Encore that these are the ones that should be put in here to link up various pages on linked menus, which is why it did it for me automatically. If I set those to be chapter buttons, and then I said create chapter index, it's going to say, oh, you don't have any next or previous buttons. Do you want me to add some, please? Well, all right then. Of course, I didn't want to do that because I already had some and now I've got a bit of a mess down here. So ideally on your template, create a bunch of buttons, create a next button and a previous button. You take all these buttons here and change them to chapter buttons. So select the lot just by dragging a box over it, come over to type and then choose chapter, and more or less you're ready to go. Another thing you might want to do is change the name of the menu. So I brought it in and it was called menu template. Let's change it to editing, which is what my particular timeline is about and then say create chapter index and it's gone ahead and created it except this time they're all called editing which is just a nice way of making sure they're all renamed properly and of course I don't have to create one from there I could create one from scratch let's get rid of that get rid of the editing menu come down to the library and let's take the party sub menu with thumbnails on it. I'm going to select all the thumbnail buttons, come over to the properties over here and say set name from link. I'm going to link up the first one, 
to my edit timeline select the menu in the project window go menu create chapter index I've got 31 buttons on here 31 buttons is going to need six different menus as you can see that's caused a couple of problems because in changing the words it's made the buttons a bit bigger and I've got some collisions here on certain buttons because those words have got bigger so maybe I need to select those buttons go and change the type style to something else a bit smaller maybe once you've created all these menus you really do have to go through and look at them just in case something like that has happened you know buttons have been colliding and so on but it's a very easy way of setting up a whole bunch of menus and as long as you name your chapters in the first place come down to a chapter down here type in something they'll all have relevant names on them so it's a cool feature next to the create chapter index button there is create multi-page chapter index this is for blu-ray pop-up menus this is not for dvds if you use that when you go to build your dvd it's going to say you've got something including your disc which is not okay for dvds do not use that if you're making dvds only use that if you're making blu-ray discs